Today I finally made it down to Bathsheba. What a treat. But, you know, Bathsheba has always been special for me because when we grew up here up in Chimborazo, that's the closest beach where it's rough, but that's where that took us. In a few minutes, I'll show you a few shots about Bathsheba, but I want to tell you about the things that make Barbados special for me, especially in the village and around the country folk. Um, my neighbor invited me for dinner on Sunday. They were so sweet, really nice dinner. And I really enjoyed myself there. Um, then I went down on the bus to town on the yesterday to buy some stuff. And on my way back, a lady got on the bus and she had three children, a young, young baby in her arms. And as soon as she got on the bus, a man got up and gave her his seat, the two little children, the other ladies across from her grabbed the kids and pulled them between them to protect them so they don't fall. And the lady got up to ring the bus and the guy reached out to steady her so she didn't fall with the baby. You know, and all the people around her were just trying to take care of her. And I, you know, and that made a smile on my face. And, and, and so the other story I'm going to tell you here real quickly before I show you the images of Bathsheba. I missed the bus, the two o'clock bus or 1.30 bus, something like that. And, I stopped at a little rum shop across from the bus stop and the lady there uh, runs the shop, Crystal. She says, oh, you missed the bus. I said, when is the next bus coming? Well, it may be two hours. She said, well, don't worry, don't worry. I can get you a ride. Well, the first guy comes down the road, she flag him down. You going to Bathsheba? And the guy so she talked with the guy for a little bit. Next thing I know, she said, come, come, come. And the guy um, gave me a ride all the way down to Bathsheba. So I got down there, it is sea egg season, and um, I took a bunch of pictures, which I'm going to share with you now, and then I'll get back with you at the end. And so here's the cache of sea eggs just dumped on the beach, they're getting ready to clean them. You see several people here on the beach, different groups doing the cleaning. This is um, a whole bounty that was just brought in, and they're getting ready to process those. Now this is what it looks like close up. Um, and here's the inside. The yellow stuff is this stuff that they take out and eat. And um, there's an, another shot of that. And uh, look at this person. So that's how they harvest the sea eggs. And then of course, and then this is what's left discard the shells. Um, what they used to do is just leave these shells on the beach. Now it looks like they're required to dig a little hole and throw them in and then cover them over. But those prickles are very, very bad for your foot if you step on them. Um, here's another shot of the beach, some other vendors. And I came across this large crowd of people. Yeah. And then of course, this would be me right after climbing out of the basin. Uh, it's a bit shallow in the basin, but it was rough. But nonetheless, I climbed in because I was not going to get to Bashable without getting some water on me. And here's some residue left, some old shells left over. And this group here, I don't think they were very happy that I took the picture, but that's okay. Divers getting ready to go back out while there are others on the beach there. And then, of course, I wrapped it up with the dinner at Diana's. Had nothing to do with sea egg. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those pictures of Bathsheba today. It was real fun. She's a bit rough for me still. But um, I, I love watching the sea egg people. I don't eat sea egg myself. But, you know, it's a tradition here. One month, they have to collect these sea urchins. And they sell very expensively. But um, hopefully you enjoyed the process and the videos. And um, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you like the videos. And um, hit the like button also if you like the videos. And um, I would really appreciate that. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next video.